Hey, what's up guys, and welcome to the next tutorial video here on Duct Tape Creations. Uh, for today's video, I'll be showing you how to make a Nintendo DS case. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, now, this one I did uh, specifically for the DSi. So, this uh, this DS here. Uh, you can tweak it to wherever you need to. So, if the measurements are different for your DS, say it's the, D the original DS, or the DS Lite, or the newer 3DS, uh, or the XL versions of the DSi and the uh, 3DS. Uh, you can follow this. All you need to do is just tweak the measurements, make them larger or smaller to whatever you need. Uh, so it's pretty simple. Uh, so now I'll just show you what uh, I've done in this. What I've done in this one I've made a while back for my DS and what you'll see in the tutorial. So for this, I just have the simple flap here with uh, the straps to keep it shut. And then I just have three card holder, uh, three um, game cartridge holder holders here so they just slide in just like this so they're basically just like a mini card holder so that's pretty cool and then I, here I just did, just for mine, I did the uh, the DSi logo here so I thought that looked pretty cool and on the inside here we have six more game holders and then uh, we have style, we have the stylists that, we, that you can put here and then right here we just have the pouch for the DS itself so you can just grab that and just slide it right in and then it seals up like that. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial and let's All get right, started. So let's get started here on making uh, your, your uh, duct tape DS case. Uh, so for the DSi, the measurements uh, that you're going to need are to cut out four strips of tape that are uh, five and three quarters inches long. Uh, now, I'm not sure the measurements for the DS Lite, uh, the original DS, or the 3DS. Uh, uh, obviously, the XL versions of the DSi and 3DS, uh, you're going to have to tweak the measurements to make it bigger so everything will fit properly. Uh, but for the DSi, uh, you just need to cut out the strips that I said are 5 and 3 quarters. Uh, it may these may work this may work for the 3ds and DS Lite. I'm not absolutely sure. Uh, you can mess around with that uh, and figure out the measurements you're in need for it. So you can just follow this step by step and just change the measurements to whatever you need. So you're just gonna take the four strips you cut out here of whatever length that you have, and then you're just gonna take them and stick them together until you reach a sheet of tape that is uh, three and a half inches long. So basically, just like this here, just uh, carefully stick the strips together to where there's basically no sticky side showing. So just like that. So then just keep doing this over, just do this until you reach the last strip, and you're at uh, three and a half inches. So right there is the top you want to reach. And now, like I said, if you're using the XL, obviously you're going to want to go uh, longer so everything will fit right. Uh, so then just put the last strip on and cover up the rest of the sticky side and then that will pretty much I don't want to mess it up there so that will pretty much finish that uh, so now you have this done you're just going to make an exact duplicate of this to cut out four more strips of whatever length and uh, I actually just thought I just thought of this so I'll let you know if you're using the XL you will probably have to cut out like two more strips uh, so the length, so the size of it will fit properly. Uh, I'm not really sure of the exact measurements for it, but you can you can do that yourself and uh, measure it up with your ruler or if you have a cutting mat. Either one will work. Either one will work well. Uh, so, like I said, once you finish this one, you're gonna make an exact duplicate, and after you finish that, we can move on to the next step. So, get this. All right. Up. So now that you have your two sheets done we can start working on the pouch for your DS. Uh, so what you're going to need for this step is to cut out uh, one more strip of tape that is five and three quarters inches long and four more strips of tape that are uh, three and a half inches long. So then take, uh, all you're going to do is just take two of the three and a half inch strips and stick them together just like this. So I'm just going to use my scissors here to cut them in half. So try and make sure you get them almost pretty much exactly even. Just do the best you can to cutting it in half. So that way you come out with uh, two two little strips of tape like that. 
Uh, this one came out a little bit uh, wider, but that's no problem. We can just fix that with our exacto knife. So, so just take if it, you wind up with that, just take off the desired amount that you think is correct. So for me, it's just about uh, that much there. So that's not too bad. Because you want these to be uh, as even as possible. Uh, so it will, f so you get the right size for the DS to fit in here. So now what you're going to want to do here is take your uh, five and three quarters inch strip and stick it right down, just half of it, onto one of your sheets. Again, it doesn't matter which one. So stick it down like that. So make sure everything's sealed here. So now what you want to do is take this sheet and stick just about uh, maybe about half an inch onto the sheet and seal that part down so then you should have something like this that this folds up like that so it kind of does something like this but that's what you want to do so now bring your DS over and put it on the side where you placed it so this part here where this folds up and you get the red or whatever color you're using so just place the DS in the center of well, not the center, but I'll put it up to the top and then just seal this over. Uh, let's try and get that into the right spot there. Alright, now I like to keep mine just a little bit uh, over it so you can see it's just a little bit over the line. So that way you can just pull it out easier. Alright, so now that you have that fitting the DS, I'm just going to set a thing there so it doesn't come out of place. So now what you want to do is take these take your little strips that you made here and take one of your three and a half inch strips and stick this directly in the middle of that so you get something that looks like this uh, try and make sure you get it even uh, I lined it up just a little bit off so I can see you have to fix that if you do that so I'm do it this way Alright, so, so now you're just going to do that with these, so then just one more time here, just stick it directly in the center of this the best you can, just stick it down like that, okay, so now bring over the pouch you made for the DS here, so what you're going to want to do is stick, well, actually, uh, I'm sorry about that, I got the measurement wrong, so you actually want it to be, uh, Three, uh, I'm gonna say about two and two quarter, two and three quarters inch long, so it will fit properly on that. So just set that aside. Sorry about that. Got the measurements a little off, so let's just count that out here. Let me get it right on the right, on the right lines. Okay, there you go. So let's see, we got two, so two and Actually, I'm just going to, yeah, I'm going to just say two and three quarters inches, so that'd be right there. <laughs> that always happens to me while I'm doing a video. So let me just put that back in there. Okay. So, just cut that down. I got two, uh, two and three quarters inches long, so it fits properly onto here. Okay. Uh, so just do the same. I'll do the same one. Same with this one here first, before I show you how to get this together. Okay, so two and three quarters inches is right there. So there you go. So now bring this back here. Make sure you get it back to where you. If you did what I did, uh, left it open like that. Uh, just make sure you get it back to the exact spot you had it. Okay. So now. What you want to do is just put half of it right onto there, and now just seal that up like that, and curve that over just like that. So you get this little uh, edge right here that says it looks something like that. All right. So now we're gonna do the same thing with this side right here. Just stick it down and then bring it over and seal it down so there's your pouch for the DS and now I'll show you how let me grab my, my DS case here I made so now I'll show you how to add these two flaps to it 
and all the little game holders and that will pretty much end this tutorial so we can so we'll move on to those steps now that we have this pouch all right so now that we've finished the pouch for the ds here we can uh you we can start making the uh flaps that go over top uh now i just made them ahead of time to save time uh but i'll just tell you what you need to do so for both these you're going to need to cut out uh four strips of tape that are five and three quarters inch uh, the same length we used for this. So then, all you're going to do, um, actually, uh, there's a few more measurements. Uh, this one here, the first, the main flap that goes over the top that seals everything up. Uh, well, here it's easier to show you on my case. Uh, this one here, so this top one here, uh, gets it has all the strips need to be uh, stuck together until it is at three and a half inches long. And then this one, the four strips only need to be to uh, two and a, uh, wait, what was that? Sorry, uh, two and three quarters inches uh, for this one. And that's the one that goes on. That's this one here that goes on the inside, where that holds the stylus and the three more game holders. Okay, so that's pretty easy. Uh, just four strips that are five and three quarters inches. One, four of them stuck together to three and a half. And four, the other four stuck together to uh, two and three quarters. So now what you're gonna do is cut another strip that is uh, three, uh, sorry, uh, uh, five and three quarters inches, and just cut it in half so you get two strips of tape like this. So then take it for both of them, just stick just a little bit on it there, and do the same thing with this one. So stick a little bit there, so that's so you have this bar stick side there on the bottom. Both of these. So now take your case and take your DS out for this real quick. If you still had it in, so then just line that up just like so, just like that. So now you can put now if you didn't have your DS in or whatever, you can put it back in now. So then there's so there's your flap for the DS. And then I will show you how to add the little strips that keep it shut. But before that, uh, we're just going to add this one here. So this one's pretty simple. Just stick it in right on the bottom here. So just put the sticky side on the entire bottom half. So it will come up just like that. And then just flip that over. So there you go. So that's pretty much your DS case. And then I'll show you how to make the little card holders uh, for your game cartridges and such. Okay, so I'm just gonna stick. I'm just gonna bring that over here so I can grab my tape. I'm just gonna stick a little roll of tape so that stays shut for me. So we're so now for those little sh uh, straps that keep it shut, you're just gonna want to cut out two strips of tape here that are. Uh, I'm sorry, I forgot the measurement. Uh, let me check here real quick. It was let's see, what, three and a quarter inches long. Okay, so you're just gonna cut out two strips of tape that are three and a quarter inches long. And carefully fold them in half. So just like that. Do the same, the same with this one here. Just fold that just right there. And it could get a little tricky because uh, duct tape doesn't like to fold over itself. So if you have a hard time, just keep working at it, and I'm sure you'll be able to get it done. So I'm just gonna move that and put my white tape there. So set those aside real quick. And I'm just gonna cut out uh, another strip of tape. Uh, unless, it doesn't matter what length, just so long it does not over, it can over, it can overlap the size of this a bit, but, uh, it will give it a rounded edge, but if you want that, you can, I'm just going to cut it a little bit, uh, shorter, so it just fits both of them, so I'm just going to set that there, so we know where to cut it, so I'm just going to move that over just a bit, and cut it down, so it's there, okay, I'm just going to make mine, let's see, one, two, three, four. I'm just going to make mine five inches long. So just like that. So now, leave those where you had them. Take your strip you just cut out, and just put, put them a little bit over like that. So you get something that looks like this on the back of it. So now bring over your case here. Make sure that's shut. So now... Just 
Now, when I did this, mine came out with a, with a little bit of a border here, but since I'm using the two different colors, it came out white. If you're using all the same, it just won't be an issue. But just for this, I'm just going to cover it up, so it's no big deal. Okay, so I'm just going to try and keep that shut there so I can get this on. So now make sure you so get that evened out, set it down like that, and the straps will just flip over all the way to the back of it like that. So you get something that, that looks like this from the front. So I'm actually just going to grab some Velcro real quick. That's down here. I'll stand. Okay, so there we go. So, so just take uh, some Velcro here. I'm just going to take them, stick them together before, and uh, just uh, like keep them together. So just take the Velcro here, and just like that. Now, if you don't know where to get Velcro, you can just buy it at Walmart, or pretty much any arts and crafts store, wherever you can find it. Uh, it's not that expensive, which is pretty good. So now you have your Velcro here, the sticky side's still here. So once you set it down, the Velcro, will, that piece will stick, and it will stay like that. So now, there's your DS case. I think it looks pretty nice. So just open that up, and there are your two flaps. So now I'll show you how to make the game holders uh, for this, and then that will pretty much this will end up this tutorial. So let's get making the card holders, or game, or game holders. Okay, so let's move on to that. All right, so to make the little game cartridges, it's pretty simple. I just need to cut out a small little strip, a little small little two small pieces of tape that are that's just a small square that is uh, one, and a, one and a half inches high and one and a half inches in width and so that's pretty much all you're going to need for that the game cartridge will fit directly in the center of it like that so now just now what you're going to do is seal this into the into the case itself just cut out a few little extra uh, a few little strips here it doesn't really matter what size is so long that they are the same length as this so like so they fit on this so they're not over so they're not like too long for it so you have like bar sticky side here so it's pretty it's like it's a really simple way to it's a really simple like a uh, card holder it's really small it takes a very small amount of tape which is good okay so now you just stick those on all three sides just like that now we're gonna take a piece here just open it up now you can now this is designed to fit uh, this is designed to fit nine uh, of the game holders. So you just do here is just stick it into the case just like that. So there you go. And then your game will just fit just right into there. Just like that. And if you need if you want to cut it down you can. Uh, it you pro it's probably better off cutting it down actually. I think it's just I made it a little bit uh, too tall. But it was, it's a, a little bit too tall, so just like make it a little bit shorter instead of like instead of one and a half inches tall. Uh, just make it just like uh, just make it a little bit smaller, not by much, just enough so you can grab it out. But that that's pretty much it. But I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial for the DS case, and I will have a new time lapse video uh, up this uh, Monday. I'm still working out on what that's going to be. Uh, if you have any ideas or something you'd like to see me do, uh, you can let me know either on Twitter or Facebook, uh, or even just comment below on this video here. And uh, if it's something I'm able to get done, I'll definitely try and do a video for you. Uh, so that will pretty much wrap things up for this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And so thanks for watching. And as I always say, just enjoy the wonder that is duct tape.